Like many bulbs, garlic is best planted in the fall in Virginia. Chris Mullins from Virginia Cooperative Extension spoke with an expert on planting garlic in Virginia from the ground up. Hi and welcome. Today we're at Fauquier Educational Farm in Warrington, Virginia, and we're here with Mr. Jim Hankins, the director here. Jim, we're talking about garlic today, and this is something that I know very little about. Tell me about garlic and for the home gardener, maybe. Oh, garlic is just one of the easiest um, crops for a home gardener that you could possibly think of. You know, it is a very close cousin to an onion. Okay. So anybody who is familiar with planting onions, planting onion sets, planting garlic is exactly the same, except for one thing. You want to be sure to plant them in the fall. Okay. Anywhere from about mid-September to mid-November up here in Northern Virginia, you could push it into December down in, down in Tidewater, Virginia. Right, it's a little warmer. But um, you plant it in the fall. It overwinters beautifully. Okay. There aren't any pests. Deer don't bother it. Nothing really bothers it. Wow. And then next June, okay. you'll see the plant start to die back and you'll get really nice big bulbs. That is wonderful. Are there different varieties, different types? What do you have? Well, you can see that these cloves are quite a bit bigger than what most of us are used to getting at the grocery store. Right. The little white garlic that you get at the grocery store is most typically called soft neck garlic. Most of it's grown in the Central Valley of California. And when you break open a clove of, or a bulb of soft neck garlic, you get 15 or 20 hateful little thin um, cloves. Right. This is a hard neck garlic. These are Russian red garlic. Okay. Um, a really cold adapted variety. The soft neck garlic doesn't like Virginia's colder winters. Okay. So the hard neck garlics will do better for us and they will produce really, really big bulbs and cloves. And it's really a great flavorful, hot, spicy garlic. Well, that sounds like a winner for growers in Virginia. Now, where would they find something like this? You know, any of the major seed companies, okay. they they all carry garlic right now, and you know um, they are advertising specials. Um, it's it's pretty easy to find online. You're not going to find it at your local feed store. Okay. Look for the hard neck varieties. Okay. Um, and you know one of the nice things. It can be expensive to buy the garlic the first year. Right. But this is one of the easiest crops that there is to save back some of your garlic. You know, the couple of those nice pretty bulbs, store them away in a cool, dark place over the um, summer and plant them again next fall. Okay. Pay for them one time and you'll have a lifetime of garlic. That is great. They said these were easy to plant. How about showing me how to plant them? Oh, absolutely. All right, Jim, let's plant one of these. Uh, this is the easiest thing in the world. Now, we're planting into a plastic mulch. Okay. But like I said, it's just like an onion set. You want to look for the bottom of the clove. Okay. And it needs to make a little bit of contact with the soil. You don't even have to completely cover it. As long as the bottom of that clove is making soil contact, and you keep them about six inches apart. Okay. Um, you can crowd them in pretty easily. Yeah, you can put a lot in this yeah, small area. Yeah, we've got area. 50 pounds in this one row. Okay. Well, great. Overall, it sounds like a great crop, even for the home gardener. Absolutely. You know, and you can have garlic for years. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, Jim, thanks for letting us come out and see your garlic production today. Anytime. Well, for more information about growing garlic, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.